Alright, so I'm starting up an Ubuntu 20.04, or maybe it's 20.10 virtual machine. Um, and this is mainly for comparison purposes. So I want to see what's different between the new beta of Ubuntu, which, yeah, it's just a beta build. There's no full release yet. Um, so I want to see the difference between this version of Ubuntu, uh, well, last year's version of Ubuntu, versus the current version of Ubuntu. So you can see here, this is like Groovy Gorilla. I don't know what version it is. Let's go to, is it about? I don't know if it's 2004 or 2010. I have to search. Okay, this is a laggy VM. It's not Ubuntu's fault. The VM doesn't have enough cores properly. Um, okay. Yeah, we're running 20.10, which comes just before this beta build. Um, not even a 04, it's literally a few months, like six. Yeah, six months. So six months between releases, and this is the six months prior to the beta build that we currently have of 20.04. And it should, um, should drop very, very soon. So, Alright, let's take a look around. So here we have, you know, this gradient. The gorilla is the background. We've got Firefox as our default shipped web browser. Files, Ubuntu software. Okay, so these are the icons here. Um, I don't know if they'll change the UI this year. I mean, a lot of the time, it has happened recently since Ubuntu 15. So that's interesting. So I'm, I'm kind of bored of the fact that Windows hasn't shipped a a new Windows version in ages. But Linux, there's a lot of um, new Linux versions. They come out nearly every day, Linux updates. So it's very interesting to see. Um, same for Mac. Um, but we've got here, restore session, you know, um, because it's a Firefox. It's nothing in Ubuntu. All right, <laughs> well, I, I'm very tired right now. Is it where I'm talking? All right, so we're using LLVM pipe. I don't know what this has to do with comparing them. Um, yeah, this is our background, and now let's install the new beta build of Ubuntu. Alright, so I'm let's just do some identity bytes to whatever has changed a little bit. Just enough. Okay then, so we can go add this, the distribution. Right. Okay, now we can go, I think I chose this. So this is the beta build. We're gonna start up Oracle VirtualBox, and we have Ubuntu, and we can go start it up. Yep, okay, let's do this. Alright, so we've got, a, got the Ubuntu screen here. We've got 8 gigs of RAM, so why is it lag? It was very laggy. It was a lag. Oh, I think I know why. Hold on, hold on, guys. Uh, save the machine state. Okay, so, oh my god, wow. Windows 10, crazy error. We wanna go to display. Can we not? Okay, we can't change anything. We've gotta start the thing and we've gotta shut it down properly before we can add more uh, video memory. Okay, so we're gonna have this thing run and then we're gonna shut it off, power the thing off, and now we can go into settings and I think, yeah, we can, yeah, let's give it 128 megabytes. I don't know why it's not using my graphics card. I would give it a couple gig of VRAM, but whatever. It's alright for now. So now we can start up the VM. Oh, Sorry, I'm yawning. Sorry. It's, um, so it's late right now. But whatever. Late night VM installs. Okay, so we're still getting the laggy Ubuntu logo for some reason. At least it'll be a little bit more enjoyable. Okay, so it's just loading. Nothing is happening. Oh, the loading stopped. Oh, the Ubuntu vanished. Um, we're getting some... We might actually be, uh getting somewhere you know you know we're probably um getting there in the ubuntu universe we're gonna make it pug chump oh <laughs> it's just a black screen what are we even gonna do about it what are we gonna <laughs> oh it's a purple screen now okay good thing <laughs> what is this wallpaper this wallpaper looks like i i dare say it <laughs> oh my god this wallpaper. <laughs> okay, can we install Ubuntu now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that sound is so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I love the sound. 
I love the dude. <laughs> Just makes this so much funnier. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a minimal installation because I can't be bothered. I don't wanna waste. I'm not. I can't care less about how much time this takes. I'm just doing minimal, so it doesn't. It, I mean, it doesn't take time. Ooh. Okay, come on. I'm installing a Oh, we're gonna have to erase the disc. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna change the partition. This disc is gonna have to change partitions. Uh, oh no, <laughs> my computer is it's full screen. It. Look at the shitty resolution that is default in this stuff. Oh, wait. Can we even change the resolution? No, we can't. We've got to actually fully install it. Why can't it natively be 20, 20, 20 by 10? This good. Seamless mode, whatever was it. You can zoom it. You can go take screenshot recording. Remote. Just Hello guys, I'm recording my VM right now. Why is it? the hell? Okay, it's lag. Virtualbox is frozen. Are you joking? I'm just trying to install Ubuntu, man. Okay, what do I do now? Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> this is, um, I swear, Virtualbox just wants to lag. Everything is working again. <laughs> Install given to it, it, oh, today's, today's the 14th. So, tomorrow, not tomorrow, but the day after the 10th, because I'll be sleeping soon. But, like, the day after tomorrow, a special thing will happen. It'll be the 15th, the middle of 04 in one last so I'm guessing maybe it will release on the 15th. Honestly, it doesn't have to be the beta build for that one. I reckon it will be out of beta build by the field. Who knows? Maybe they do uh, full full compiles. Maybe they do it on a on a Wednesday or a, or a Tuesday or something like that. Ooh, man. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to shut this thing because it's doing nothing. It's so dog shit. Wait, let me find. <laughs> I'm about to do something really funny right now. Is something not working? I'm gonna... I'm gonna push it. Sorry, I'm going on. Oh, he's not even launching. Come on. I'm hitting a Windows key. Nothing's coming up. Oh, yeah, it is. Can we run it as administrator and it makes a difference? Or do we need to do, like... Let's try some... I'm a... I'm a big fan of the Mac. I use Windows and Mac. Although, you know, I started with Windows, so... I can do all this out of it. Okay, but I'm pretty good with Mac now, so I'm probably better with Mac. Um, but we can go the is sudo fuck. <laughs> oh my god, sudo is not a command. Wait, hold on. One more. I'm just trying to see the syntax of <laughs> Okay, so we gotta do like C colon uh T I R slash W, right? And call C J Johnson from GTA SA. No, I'm looking for my... Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, so I've got, like, all of these folders here with my desktop documents, downloads, Eclipse, like, IDE was. I never coded. I, I don't even code. Um, but, like, all right, we got to do, like, C... Oh, hold on. Let me try this. We got to task manager. Oh, man. This is the troubleshooting process. This worked for me last time. We got to scroll down. We got to find... Is there a control F? No, this makes it a lot more difficult to troubleshoot. But this icon to come from. I mean, this is not the... I'll show you. Okay. I don't know. This icon seems out of place. Maybe it's just a miniature one. And I don't use fuck. Come on. Where is this? The M MPV player. Jesus Christ, where, where's this process going? N task. Uh, so now we've got to get all the. Oh, we found, we found it, guys. Found it. I need to close. How do I do this? I need to end all of the tasks associated with VirtualBox because I guess it's not opening because in use, Vanguard is using 0.1 megabytes of RAM. That's a lot of RAM. Okay, we're gonna click. No. I just did that. Um, but yeah. 
Okay, so everything on a computer happens for a reason, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, we got it working. Um, so maybe uh, whenever something doesn't open, it's because the process is already being used. Toss in your task manager. In your task manager, sort of, you gotta like find the thing again. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's in use. Is what so the process is already open so the program's like what why do you want to open me i'm already open so the same thing happens as if you would like click task manager is it max but then again there's nothing to maximize so nothing happens just loads for a bit and realizes oh i'm already open there's no window but i'm still gonna maximize the window the window that doesn't exist and that's how um windows is shit os in mac on the top, you will not get this. In Windows, in the File Explorer, you will get this. Why? Why is this a pain that we get kids? Oh, why? Now I'm gonna have to start again and be pissed off. I think it was just that feature I was messing up, or well, messing around with in VMware virtual. So yeah, um, however, I'm getting something. This has never happened to me, that's what I was gonna say. This, this error has never happened to me. Uh, so I don't, I don't think it should happen to you unless you try and like use some obscure feature up here in the menu <laughs> Oh man, I love that. So um, it always happens in the weirdest and it's a coincidence I know because on Windows the t -t 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 Sound doesn't happen at the right time. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just do a normal installation all right, to be honest, let's take a look at this UI over here. So the UI sort of looks like, well, okay, this is gray, but then the top bar is still black. The buttons are like the same thing. I used Ubuntu 18.04 at one point. Oh, we're doing this all over again. I'm getting deja vu already. Um, yeah, I remember 18.04 was my first Ubuntu version. It was actually my first version of Linux to actually be installed on the PC itself. Um, before, I like, I think I had VMs for 18.4. I don't even remember where I discovered uh, Linux. I don't know, I think someone told me about it. Let's just do 1111. Uh, so, if anyone, if I ever want to know my password for this VM, um, for the beta build, then obviously 1111. So we're installing. Oh, it's still got the groovy gorilla background on this. Even though it's a beta build using this wallpaper, which is actually. I think they should remove this because this is like, you know, it doesn't look like a hippo. You know what I mean? Um, it actually looks like something that most Linux users don't really get much of you know um if, if you get what i mean you know us poor techies we, we don't get these circles okay we'll go to also please don't um please don't get angry at me um for insulting you guys because uh, i'm part of the community as well yeah i'm i'm also a linux user so don't like say that i'm also part of the problem uh, all right I don't know what I'm saying, but they all call it, they say, that's it, that's a, that's, I'm making this up off, like, that's a Linux moment, that's a, that's a Linux moment, but I said, I, I was the first one to say, bro, and I said like, this bro, that's a Linux moment, so I, so the installer thing is like the same, the same slideshow as it used to, I want to skip so bad. Okay, we've got our copy and files, which is too tall for the for the screen. And then we've got our calendar on the portable Ubuntu. You can't try Ubuntu. I don't know why I bothered installing it. Is that Harambe? I think that's the epic Harambe gorilla. You know, why is Ubuntu themed by anime? I don't like the theme of Ubuntu. Like, 18.4 was good. 20 was not good. And Linux is, I mean, of course, you can make it look how you like, because this is Linux, but let's face it, most distros are ugly. Mac isn't, Windows isn't, but when you find that distro that's just perfect, everyone in the community knows that feeling. 
and this one is not just perfect i mean it's pretty popular and popular is good because it means more people be able to help you with your issues so that makes ubuntu probably the best one for people to switch to because they're like oh no i my chrome suddenly um isn't like displaying a basic some basic feature and then some nerd from the forum of, of ubuntu can say um oh since you're using ubuntu i recommend you can do sudo apt get um fix my fucking computer whereas um if you're on like arch or something you have to make that up yourself let's skip this if you if you're on arch you have to find your own commands if you run kde you you barely get any help kde neon sorry every everyone uses that is but yeah basically oh wow we're retrieving the files here how many things does this thing retrieve it's a gorilla i'm holding like a dslr thing in my in my hand right now. ultimately all of the people that watch this video i think they're gonna think i have very controversial opinion about linux and they're either gonna think that or i'm crazy or due to my being super tired super a little bit you, you can tell in my oh my god welcome to ubuntu unpacking gnome desktop wow i'm gonna gnome i love his um, ubuntu what operating system ubuntu 20 awful welcome to ubuntu um it's full of new features in my yeah mate the new features so if you use Ubuntu, then there's so, so, so many new features here, mate. Mate, okay. I recommend you use Ubuntu 2004. Okay, we're about to finish. But I think we're going to install Grub2 package. Oh my god. So we're nearly done. <sighs> now we're going to mindfully switch to the new beta. Oh, I've been to fucking right. Why is this my life choice? It's April 14 at zero, zero. What redneck uses 24 hour time? That is literally a default, should say 12.30, but no, it says zero, zero, 0030. Oh, hello, pork chomp. Help and support. Yes, we, we have Ask Ubuntu. Um, Arch users don't have Ask Ubuntu. Ubuntu, what the f uh, who, What does this beta even include? Uh, it better not just be nothing. I hope this beta actually it does something. Like, it, it's not just like, um, macOS Yasandi 3.1.exe. Like, or whatever. What is it? mac os yeah you know it's a little bit strange but really it'll make sense ah uh, sticky tape dot dmg sticky tape dot dmg you know the sticky tape dispensers they're like they're insane bro it's running democratic people's republic of korean democratic lib qs 200 i'm just Oh, it's preparing. Why is this loading bar taking so long? It's removing the British office. Libra office. It's running Democratic People's Republic of Korea. You know? And then it's um, helping support. And it says, ask Ubuntu. And there's a gorilla. Even though this is the beta build. Which it should be more. And now it's loading... And it's saying running D pack. I just realized among the nerds here, like in the rednecks, there's probably like some professional university student out here um, trying to just find out what's new in Ubuntu. And he's like a college major. How? Who is a college major? That's not possible. Like a major in a grade or something like that. They're just like studying a degree of psychology, science or something. Oh no, computer science. So yeah, that's what I mean. Why do I say technology? I just want to find out what's new with Ubuntu. 
and I, and they just click on a video of a 15 year old installing um, Ubuntu whilst sleep deprived. So to avoid people misclicking on the video, I'm gonna just title the video differently. It's configuring Lakala's for AMD 64. And it's going preparing to configure Grub PC, Grub EFI AMD 64. Hurry the hell up. Oh, we're done. We need to restart our Windows 98 PC. Wow. All right, we need to remove the installation medium. Can you fucking learn to ignore the installation medium? I can't remove any disks from the virtual drive. It just did it itself. What a stupid operating system. Now again, I'm sorry, Cheetos, cheese people. Like, I'm sorry, man. Um, but your operating system asked me to remove the media, but the media removes itself. In Saudi, in Saudi to Russia, the operating system removes the CD. In civilized society, the CD removes the operating system type thing, like, uh, did you know that, like, yin, yin yang, like, when there's evil, that there's also good, so, do that, there's a whole world out there, just waiting for your concept, your ideas in computer science, and your, um, your knowledge, you know, I installed, have I installed Ubuntu successfully for once, holy, if you ever want to log into this VM, if you happen to sneak onto my computer, um, somehow find my address first of all, sneak onto this computer, log, log into my account, go onto my virtual box application, and type 1111, then congratulations, you will be able to see just a blank install of Ubuntu, um, beta build that, by the time you figure all that out and get to wherever I am in the world, you know, the secret, secret place, um, you'll end up, like, the, the full release will already be out, so, let's connect some online account, I'm joking, this is literally, I don't want to improve Ubuntu, I don't want to even, what is this, okay, so we go to settings, right, is this it, can we, can we just go to settings and just like, we're connected at a thousand, a thousand, oh, it's a one gigabit ethernet, not 10 gig, one gig, okay, so, of course I can't actually download it a thousand megabytes a second, because my Wi-Fi is like 41 down or something, but technically, one thousand meg, that's the ethernet cable, alright, so this isn't just random, I remember once I had full battery and it said 9999 remaining battery. Some lag has happened with the battery. Okay, let's change 16 by 10, you know, what is this? 2560. Okay, we can't do that. We need 1920 by, yeah, that's better. Oh, that's so much better. Now we can keep the changes. Let's see how this VM feels. Is this VM snappy, sort of? Okay, all right, now we've, well, now we can, I mean, to be quite frank, I don't see anything different, so, it says, Ubuntu, hu, 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 development, brr. I am actually cold now, windowing system is Wayland, Wayland, I, I know, um, all, all I know about Wayland, is that new, is that a new feature, all I know about Wayland is that, there's this guy on YouTube called The Linux Experiment, and he always talks about it. He's, he's like, Wayland, guys, Wayland is the new assist or something. He's like, guys, what is Wayland? I never learned that it's a windowing system. I just saw, I just heard him say Wayland while he was rambling in one of his Linux videos. Um, so let's just go to the terminal, last of all, and see if it's changed. It hasn't. It says man pseudo root. Man mandarin pseudo. You know what? I'm not gonna question it. This is some very suspicious among us. Instead, I'm just gonna end it here um, and I'm gonna shut down the VM so I don't get coronavirus and beta software. Beta software gives you what? Viruses? No. It gives you. you know, whatever. I'll figure that out later um, when I'm writing the book.
so yeah. Yo, homie, we get it for- Whoa. Yo, first computer. Was that one's probably for the best.